Hey guys, so it's here bringing you another video. Now before the video begins, I just thought I'd mention something cool potentially. At the end of this video, I'm going to put the unboxing to whatever is in this box. I believe this is a Twitch gift. So we're going to open it, you know, together and see what's in it. So if you want to check that out, make sure you just stay at the end of the video. Hey guys, so it's here bringing you another video. Welcome back to more uh, main account stuff. We are climbing in Platinum at the moment, making our way to Diamond. Uh, my goal still, even with the health stuff, is to try and get Diamond before the end of January. And obviously, I don't play a crazy amount of League, so it's not like, oh, I could play 15 games a day until I get it. I, on average, probably play six or seven games when I'm streaming, so a little bit slower than probably other content creators are doing it, but that's fine. Um, bringing up the Oloda Medudar, though, high plat game. We have played one game of Annie, and I do remember it didn't go very well. Um, we have one trick Blitzcrank, Gragas top lane versus Corky top, by the way. Kane jungle doesn't, well, we played one game of it. We're against a Vex, so I went for a burst mage, because that's typically the counter to Vex. Um, and then our AD carry looks quite bad, which is a bit worrying. Um, but it's an Ash, so you don't really see Ashes a lot either. Rank 30th Ash in the world, but there probably is only 30 people that play Ash. Um, and then also a Nami that, again, if she gets hooked, she's dead. So overall, I'd say I prefer our comp. We have a, a more well-rounded comp than the enemy team. Also a little bit weird to me that Vex has gone teleport. Now, I do know there's that new build for Vex hovering around that's basically very little damage. It's the Everfrost build. I really don't like that build. It, it's not using the strengths of the champion. But maybe she's doing it this game because she's running teleport. If you're doing the standard burst build as Vex, you'd go ignite, right? So, I don't know. Thoughts on Corky? I like Corky. I'd never play him top lane, but Corky as a champion is really good. Oh, that was it. I was I couldn't remember what game I played of Annie, and Nessie just reminded me. My most recent game of Annie was Placement Game 6, and it was when I tried the Challenger build that does no damage. Yeah, I'm never doing that build ever again. Oh, it literally was just, like, awful. It was for wave clear more than anything else. Hit the snail. Why don't you do the ward? Remember, hit the snail's neck, and you get that every time. You heard back from a job you applied to. You got a phone interview this afternoon. Hey, congratulations. Hell yeah, you got this. Hey, Mad Poison. How you doing, buddy? Welcome to the stream. Yeah, which Pokemon did I get named after, Zelge? If it's like Weedle, there's going to be problems. I'm just saying. Hey, Mischief. What's up, Yumi? Wait, you're not a Yumi. I'm so sorry. Nice. You'll get that flash. Sick. That's a really good start for a Blitzcrank against an army. Hit one more hook on her and she is dead. Or you're going to force her to play insanely passive, which she doesn't want to do in lane phase. Alright, farm goal... 70 farm at 10 minutes. I normally get like 69 farm. Which is like, really? Damage? Well, I did more than her. Hello. I did more than her because she's got a corrupting potion. That's why. I've got a bit more bursty damage with the Dorans. There you go. That's that Blitzcrank play getting the flash early. That's what that play just did. But then they get a return kill. Does Jinx get the final though? The double? Question mark? No. That would have been really good. I like Vex. Again, I still think Vex is stupidly overpowered. And again, don't be offended if you're a Vex player. Because I'm also a Vex player. But I also can put personal bias to the side. And even if it's a champion that I play, I can call it OP. Because I'd rather the game to be balanced. And Nivea is probably overpowered still at the moment. Vex is probably overpowered at the moment. Wobbuffet. I'm, I'm becoming Wobbuffet. 
Waaah, wow, bah fait. What build of Wobbuffet am I going to be? Am I, am I becoming a counter Wobbuffet? What's the deal? That's really bad. It's another AP Gragas top lane, probably. Let's roll. A r a random Apache. Thanks so much, dude. Hey, welcome to the two year club, dude. Hell yeah. 24 months with Prime. Thank you so much for the long-term support. Well, you're dead. Oh, the shield? Question mark? Oh, the Vex kept herself alive with the W. And Corrupting Potion. Whatever. I thought, like, the Vex just gave me a completely free kill, then, if I'm honest. Oh, I got baited. It's still I got, I got the kill, but I got baited. I saw that coming. Literally, when I pressed flash, I knew it. I was like, "This is bad." I think Zoe's OP. Not in modern day league, no. Zoe's annoying, but she's not OP. I really hope this Gragas doesn't go AP Gragas. We obviously had that AP tanky Gragas a few games ago. That would have been the POV commentary that I would have done. And uh, obviously that Gragas did a huge throw in that game. It wasn't to do with the AP factor. It's just... Uh, I just... If you're going to play Gragas, play tank. So much better. He's dead. Again, if he's dying to a Corky in lane phase, it just shows how weak that is. Corky is a non-lane phase champion. Okay, I never mind. I take back everything that I just said. <laughs> God damn it. Commentator's curse. Or blessing. Is that a blessing? Is that technically a blessing? Because he's on my team. I think that's technically a blessing. Go, boy. Go. Man. And this is why you play Vex into Annie, because she doesn't deal with other mages who can burst. But now, oh god. How's he going? i got to be careful of Kane. Oh, he's bot lane. If she hits me in ult, I'm probably dead, though. This is the thing. Because again, Vex has burst herself. I will say, Vex isn't exactly what Riot described Vex was going to be. She's an anti-mobility champion. Not really. Saw that coming from a mile away. There you go. She made it really obvious. Ooh, they tried a tower dive and they got a double kill. Let's go, dudes. Let's go. Hold up. You gotta hold up. Why did Blitz take that kill? Well, my bot lane's doing all right. They just got towered over and it worked out. Wesserax, how's it going, dude? Good vibes only. Hell yeah. Again, I will say, guys, I will need some good vibes this week. So any help that you can give in the good vibes department, I really appreciate, especially this week. All I hope, and I will say, especially the Twitch audience, if Huz become, if I, Huz, become a bit grumpy guts later in the week, please do. Nice, Gragas. Let me know, because obviously the health issues are going to probably get worse as time goes on this week. So if you're like, Huz, you're being grumpy guts, tell me. And because I'm really far ahead in content, I will likely stop making content at the moment. Because, um, yeah, I've got a lot of content ahead of time, so I don't want to make content that's bad because I'm grumpy. Alright, we're having a great game. This is a much better Annie game than the other one. It's good. Good. Oh, Pogo. Dude, I love Jinx. Like, as a champion, like Jin, I think Jinx is such a well-designed champion. The Cowboys did lose last night, which obviously has not helped my vibe, I will say. 
Cowboys basically entered. The amount of penalties that we got was literally obscene. Okay, my team overstayed. You're not buried under 19 inches of snow? Man, I like snow though. I've not had any snow yet this year or last year. No snow. Yeah, again, Riot August, I would say, he is... I think he's become the new Certainly T. The weird thing is, he's had some really good champions, but I don't know what's happened, but it's like Riot... I think, again, it has to be from someone above him, because Riot have to give him, like, the go of making a dumb champ. Because literally, his last two champions is Viego, which is ridiculous and just shouldn't exist. And Zeri also looks kind of ridiculous. They know the champ again. He he memes on Twitter himself how broken they are. So like they know how broken these champions are. And to me, there must have just been like a design philosophy going: broken champions sell more. Guys, make broken champions. Like it has to be. Like I I literally you know these are smart people. Like they're very smart people. They're good game designers. They know what they're doing. So to me, it's it's just on purpose. Has to be. Uh, it has to be, you know. Why isn't Vex anti-mobility? I mean, she gets stronger when there's mobility in the game, but she's not really anti-mobility. That's the point. Where are you from? Oh my god, it's a cane that actually went red cane in solo queue. Whoa. That's rare. A smart cane player. So yeah, Sykes. I got a cannon. Oh my god. Did I hit the farm goal, by the way? Is it... <laughs> Aniara says, Is it bad that I thought certainly T renamed to August? Honestly, no. Because, like, I can see it. Well, that was something. Okay. Um, she mispositioned that Vex. But again, Annie's technically a counter to Vex. How would Vex do again against an Annie? Don't fight me. And don't don't let me get that big boom. She should actually look to roam. God, he's so strong. I should have flashed. That was a mistake. We missed the big one. It's not a corky player, is it? But again, he's playing he doesn't play corky and he's playing corky top, so it's so weird. 66 farm at 10 minutes, okay. And corky's dead. To be honest, I'll take that, considering I'll be honest, I'm I, it might be obvious to you guys. I'm playing this game kind of bit loosey goosey. I'm not like fully concentrating, and I know I'm not. Oh look, she's bought crown. Weirdly, that's actually not bad. Uh just also to say, you know a lot a lot of people hate that Ezreal's building crown every game? The counter to that item, genuinely, or the counter to that, Bramble. If you buy a Bramble against Ezreal and he hits with a Q, Q on Ezreal procs Bramble. Therefore, you just make him Q you. Oh, God. That was insane. Um, you just make him Q you, and then um, it procs his own crown for then you to go in. Okay, that was one of the best flashes I think I've ever done. That was Pog. Pogo. That was Patches of Holy, the Hula Hand, five Diz Diza Dodgeball. Yup. And you just wait for the crown. <laughs> you like It's not even a counter. Like, you just wait. Jinx is free hitting. Oh, Jinx mucked up. Oh my god, did you see that Jinx auto? Oh, she really mucked up. Oh, that's so bad. Again, Kane is just broken with his healing. Again, it's why red is just so much better than blue. Red does damage and it doesn't die. Why the hell would you ever go blue? Hello. Shut down. 
Oh my god, I think I'm good. Okay, I'll take another kill though. I was sad. Oh, dude, they're gonna get clean. They're gonna clean. They're gonna clean. No, why? She does no damage, but then they'll get ashed. It's all right. Oh my god, I played that well. Maybe, 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 maybe. Oh, that was so close, though, dude. If that hit, that would have been insane. It's definitely a shadow flame. <coughs> God. Play that well. This is so much a better build than the other one. My God. I literally will never... Oh, just press E. Walk. Oh, get on your mind, get on your mind, get on your mind. Bad positioning. Yeah, Jinx played that really badly. Unfortunately, Jinx played that pretty much as bad as you could probably play that situation. Unfortunately, Jinx played it like as bad that was all positioning wait ash went kraken hmm that's brave in the game that there's a one-shot annie build happening and she's an immobile ad carry brave i popped uh, her crown with ludens That would have been close. What? Ah! Love that. Oh, I'm so bad. I was looking at the vial. I should never have died. Oh, I'm so bad. Oh, that's so bad. Really? I'm not even kidding. She should have just fought him. He used his package and his W. That's a lot of his damage. And Jinx is stronger than him. She should have just fought him. To what is like looks to be a pretty free game. Is apparently not that free. I don't have tippers yet. Whoa. Okay, you didn't need to take the kill though. Sped him up. Oh, no sushi. I don't know if that's worth it. He was on a shutdown. You're like, Huzzy03, how's he on a shutdown? It's one of those farming shutdowns. Like, obviously, the farming shutdowns are implemented originally for, like, Nasus and Trindamir players that farm a crazy amount but don't really get involved in the game. And then, like, dude, they have a million farm. Wait, what? The hell? Like, what is this playstyle? Um, I don't know if my team wins that.
That guy got ping ponged. Why is an Ash split pushing? I think they think they're vain. So no, you're you're Ash. I'm such a bully. I'm having a good game. Is this a Banshee game? It could be, you know, because like Banshee would block Vex ult, so they don't have that engage on me. This Corgi. Just walk, just walk. You really did not need to do that flash play. <laughs> this Vi is like, um, okay, the Vi unfortunately is just weak. But like, this, this Vi is like a, a Lee Sin player that like, they go for always the unnecessary play. It's like they didn't need to do that. And like people go, Huz, they didn't need to do that, but they still died. Yeah, because they, they didn't need to use the flash straight away. She could have been a little bit more patient. She had her ulti up. Oh. Hello. Um, oh, no. They're still here? God, I never would have guessed that they would still be here. Ever. They're both low health. What? Why is she still split pushing? <clears throat> This is a weird quality game. You basically got an inting Ash. You have a Vi that flashes every single time it's off cooldown. This is weird. This is a bizarre game. And then I can one-shot their whole team, and I'll always be able to one-shot their whole team for this whole game. I have to be a bit smarter around Vex, because don't pop everything when she's got Crown activated, but that's not hard. You proc it and then, then go all in after. But yeah, crazy. <laughs> also kind of feels that like the Gragas has fallen off. Guys, what are my team doing? I'm literally having to solo carry this, and my team's just getting tilted. I'm dead. Oh, I'm getting tilted myself. Did I get bubbled? I think I got bubbled. Alright, we need to calm down. We're just on a chain losing screen now. Everybody's dying by themselves. I got caught. Jinx got caught. Oh no, why? The decisions are real. Okay, we might have lost this game. The Gragas is full AP and that's just stupid. Ah! Go tank! Please just go tank. You'll be so much... Like, they didn't even have Ash. That was a 4v5, basically. Oh, well. The tilt is real. Ash is just going to perma-split push. Because like, that just seems to be what that player wants to do, which is bizarre. Terrible ult. for us thank you <clears throat> jeez this game is nuts I'm dead am I yeah Ash killed me work together lads Was over for show. <laughs> God damn it, boxing. <clears throat> Rap 
Banshee will be really good. Annoyingly, I had to use my full combo when she had Crown activated, by the way. Because I knew I was probably about to die. So I was like, well, let's just use it now. Hey, Avika. You fully, you fully recovered? Hey, nice. Good to hear. <clears throat> yeah, we saved the Baron. But what I did was good. Don't get me wrong. I'm happy with what I did. Pull it out. <clears throat> God damn. The annoying thing, right, is every single time I drink, it makes my throat worse. But, you know, I have to drink considering that's a kind of normal thing for humans to do. That was not a great Ash Arrow. Alright, backy, back, back, back. Oh. Dude, my burst is sick! That Corky mucked up. Look at the healing! Oh my god, Kane is insane. That champion is just beyond broken. My Tibbers is on the Nami this whole time, by the way. I'm very surprised we lost that fight. Well, kind of. We got the dragon, which is good. But Ash, Ash, this Ash is so bad. What? I would 100... If I was on the enemy team, I would 100% report this Ash. Like, that is mad. Hey, look, she's dead. Oh, I didn't get the W off. That was my stun. Oh, I'm so bad. I'm trolling. My W didn't go off before I died. Wait, he's bought a crown as well. There's two crowns this game. Oh, oh this game's giving me a headache. It's one of those just games that you just can't believe what's kind of going on. You're like, what? What is going on? Because, like, you think you should win it, and then you look at and then, like, two people haven't used their ultis in our team fight, and then you look at the end of it, and there's Ash just randomly mid lane by herself. Do I think Nara is balanced? I think Nara's actually quite weak. That's good. Oh, my back. Ow. Yeah, my E should proc crown. Is Ash grouping? No, that's impossible. This Ash doesn't group. <laughs> okay. Nice. That slows them down with the package. Oh, bye. He's propped crown, if he goes for it. Oh, that's such a sick hook! Oh, God. Get away from me, get away from me, get away from me. This is terrible. Kane, like, Kane is ridiculous. That's Red Kane. He can one-shot you, and it's Red Kane, and he will never die, and he'll heal way too much. That's why you should never go blue. Because Red Kane is so much more broken. Oof. We're just misplaying this game terribly. Like, Jinx getting... Jinx did nothing in that fight, practically, because she got caught by the Vexal at the beginning. Which is a shame. Oh, we're just losing to a Kane at this point. He is 16 ki kills Kane, but that, again, there's a reason that he got to 16 kills as Red Kane, which is supposed to be the one that isn't supposed to do damage, but does. And then I can't one-shot him anymore, probably, because he's got Fon. So, yeah. Red Kane is Bruiser Tank, yeah. Supposedly. But with Mirror Mana build... He can do crazy damage. But I've got Flash this fight, so... What my goal would likely be... 
is like take out the ash before the fight begins like boom they don't have an ad carry and that would be pretty huge is she going to go split push literally will not shock me if that ash is going to go split push i'm gonna hover mid if i see ash top lane ooh, 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 ooh. That's an advantage. I didn't go... Well, the plan hasn't happened because I was going to get the Ash, but Vex mispositioned. But that's fine. They might be on Baron, I will say that. There's a pretty damn big chance that they're doing Baron. We do have Soul. Yeah, they're doing Baron right now. Eh, we keep soul, they don't keep Baron. So if you if you just don't lose while they've got Baron, it's advantage to keep the soul. Technically. God, look how much magic resists the Kane's buying, by the way. <sighs> Hopefully that means Jinx should be able to wreck him, but I'm holding my breath about that because the Jinx has been very hit or miss this game, literally. That was crown proc, proc right? <laughs> Again, enemy team's not using this Baron, are they? Oh, they might now, though. Okay, they're not. Good, 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 good. We can fight this now. Sped him up, sped him up, sped him up. And he got caught. Good ult! Ooh, good flash by her. Oh god, what's he got? Why is the corky slowing us like that? I have no idea. He hasn't got grudge. Like, that's what I thought he had, but no. Oh, is it Nami E? Oh, okay, got you. But that's fine. Again, we technically win a fight. Just, we got one kill, they got none. And they've got Baron, so we have Dragon Soul. As I said, Dragon Soul is better than Baron as long as you don't lose while the Baron is active. And overall, Baron's been active. They haven't really gained much. So I think it's completely fine of what we did. Trading Soul for the Baron. I think that's worked out overall. I'm going Morello, by the way, because if there is a chance to kill this Kane, I need Morello. Oh, okay. Careful. They will look for an all-in now that they've got package available. <gasps> okay. I should have dodged earlier because I kind of realized too late it was that was coming in my direction, but that was a good dodge. That was clutch. Crazy how, like, this Corky has basically fed, like, insane amounts. This doesn't take any damage. What? How much magic resist does he have? Hey, Novak. How's it going, dude? Ah. Thank you so much for the thousand plus ultra. I appreciate it. You're studying the library for exams? Oh, good luck, dude. You got this. I don't think we have to give this, no? Bad ult. I don't like this. I do not like this at all. Positioning's way off this fight. I got her, I got her, I got her. Okay. I don't want to take the kill. 
I was like, should have I taken the kill? Okay, he should be dead. There you go, GG. This game, man, was insane. Honestly, like, I don't know if you want to say well played or not, because it's just Kane, but like, the Kane kept them in this game so much. Hey, beast of a player. I actually was waiting for you, dude. Beast of a player with a thousand plus ultra as well. Uh, also, bud, I'm so sorry. I was waiting for you to be in stream again. Uh, the other day you did a $50 donation and I completely missed it. So I'm really sorry about that. I felt awful. Um, thank you so much. That's really, really kind. Thank you. Sorry that I missed it. End the game, end the game, end the game. Woo! There we go. This game was nuts. I'm uploading this one because, like, what the hell? Again, sorry if my stress level was high or I'm a bit grumpy already, but, like, I'm happy we won that game. But, whoa. That was just Kane. Is like, he just doesn't die. That last fight as well. OBS is frozen, by the way. Give me a second. Uh, it's crashing. OBS. Hello. There we go. Um, who do I give it to? Because, like, Vi, Vi was by herself, but she survived. She literally survived, which I don't know how she did that. Um, and Kane was by himself, but then Vex mispositioned again. This Vex, I will say, mispositioned a lot this game. Like, a lot. But, oof. But there we go. We went 13, 9, 13, plus 17. Bit of typing says, please don't play Vex. Toxic. Minute 7 asking for FF. Curried. I don't know what's going on. But yeah, no, the Vex had an awful game. She just constantly was getting caught. Uh, and then damage-wise, we do most damage on my team behind the Corky. Again, the Corky, who was doing awfully in lane phase, but that's that new Corky build. He gets three items and then he becomes an absolute monster. Obviously, the damage of the Corky build, it is a poke build. So clearly, that's why. Where, again, my damage pretty impressive because mine is a, like, stomp, um, burst build, not a, not a poke build. So to be that high damage is actually pretty good too. But there's the Vex. Vex all the way down there for a carry champion is really bad but there we go hey shadow lucifer thank you so much all for watching if you guys did a like this game very close game uh do throw a like on it throw a comment throw a subscribe and i'll see you guys next time goodbye okay so welcome to the end of the video so we're gonna open this together mine has uh, come pretty late i know quite a lot of twitch partners have received theirs earlier than mine um but that's fine um and i've also tried my best to avoid what's actually in it um, so I, I have seen, like, roughly some of it, but we'll see. So here we go. Open it up. It's very purple. Oh, my God. So it's got a lot of the air protection stuff. So let's get rid of that. 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 The floor's now a mess. So here it is. It's a partner box. Um, so the way of this, how it worked, by the way, is last year for Christmas time, some of you may remember, you see that beanie that's on my lion? That's the that's a Twitch partner uh, beanie, and they sent me a scarf, and they only gave it to some streamers. Um, I only knew knew a couple that got it, like Lando Norris, the F1 driver, he got it too. Uh, but this time they did it slightly different, and I think they did it different because it wasn't like people were complaining, but like let's say in the UK, only about a hundred streamers got that gift from Twitch. You kind of felt left out if you weren't a Twitch streamer who didn't get anything. So this is a bit more. Well, it was a lot more open to Twitch partners. Basically, I, I think any Twitch partner could have gone, yeah, I'll, I'll have a gift. Why not? And that's how I think it kind of worked, which is fine. I'm completely happy with that. Um, you know, I've, I've been sent really nice things from Twitch in the past, but I also like other partners being able to get stuff too. So let's begin. So first thing is a really nice water bottle that is a partner Twitch water bottle. So again, you won't be able to buy this stuff on, on the store. I really like that. It's metal. It seems quite solid. It might be even double insulated. I think it is. So that's really nice. I'll definitely be using that for sure. So that's awesome. Um, and yeah, in case you, I didn't know I was a Twitch partner, apparently. Uh, next up, we've got some pins. So again, Twitch partner. We've got... Is that the PogChamp? The, 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 the snake thing? I think that's PogChamp. I don't know what the bottom... I don't know what the heart one here is. I don't know what that one is. But obviously, you've got Twitch logo and then the verified tick. But yeah, that's the new Pog Champ. Yeah, okay, cool. There's that. Then we have this, which 
What is it? Is it a memory bank? Is it... It's either a memory bank or it's a battery pack. I can't tell what it is. Um, we'll open it up, though. It, 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 or, yeah, it's, it's either a memory bank like a memory stick or it's a battery pack. Um, genuinely can't tell. Um, it's not a, No, it's not an LED sign. It's rubber. It's got a rubber feeling. I'm guessing, as weird as it may be, I'm guessing it's a USB stick. That's what I'm guessing. Um, what I'll do in editing, I'll bring up on the screen below what it is. So I'll, I'll like, t I'll tell you guys what it is in that. Because, yeah, that's a bit weird. Not really sure. I'm going to do it right now. Uh, next up, we've got socks. <laughs> we literally have socks. We have Twitch partner socks. I wonder how these feel. I, I don't, they're all sealed. I, again, socks are cool, but like hopefully they're good quality socks because bad quality socks give you blisters really easily. But they are kind of the cool looking. But I'll be honest, the, this is the type of thing that like behind me, I'd likely just keep in the box to, on display. <laughs> is that dumb? I don't know. All right, then we have uh, a couple more things. All right, so I'll move the big box over here because there is another thing in it. We have this, which I, I do know what this is, I believe. And again, this is going to be a cool display item. Whether I actually use it or not is another story. But basically, this is where some people are going to go, what? So obviously I've opened it. What is in it? Oh God, there's so many boxes. It's a Twitch partner, Connect 4. Um, so you know the game Connect 4? It's a Twitch partner, Connect 4. I'm not even kidding. So, yeah. <laughs> I I honestly, I, I genuinely will probably use this. I'm not even kidding. So I can see where this is probably going to go. I'm going to keep it sealed because I don't have any room for it right now in my current setup. Obviously, when the new office comes to be, I will have plenty of room. And I already know where this is going to go. Just to say, these shelving units behind me, the idea is one of the whole walls of the, the new office is going to be the all of it. The whole wall is going to be these behind me. And the, the Partner Connect 4 is probably going to sit on top of one of the shelving units, probably. So, um, yeah, what is Connect 4? So Connect 4 is kind of like a board game, but it's not, well, it, would you, I guess you call it a board game, that you're, it's a 1v1 game, and you're one colour, and your opponent is another. And the aim is to get four of your colour in a row, which in any direction, it can be up, it can be diagonal, or it can be cross, and you take turns putting your colour in. Um, and obviously, it's whoever gets four in a row wins. Uh, it's, yeah, it's kind of like tic-tac-toe, um, just a bigger version. And by the way, just to say, yeah, it's it's all branded. I don't know if you guys can see. Yeah, like, look, can you see that? Yeah, Twitch. It's literally a branded Twitch partner Connect 4. <laughs> Who had that idea at Twitch? But it, honestly, I, I, I will use that gift. Like, that's actually quite a good gift. And then finally, ugh, we have some type of some type of fleecy thing. So I can definitely see partner is on it. And I'm guessing it might be a blanket. Um, yeah, it looks to potentially be a blanket, which honestly... I've had this blanket for quite a time. If you guys don't know, I permanently have a blanket on my legs. Like, that's just the way I am when I'm on at my computer. So we could actually go for an upgrade here. Do I have scissors? Any any scissors? Oh, I have scissors, everybody. I have scissors. Here we go. Let's have a look. Okay. Oh my god, it's so soft. Oh, I think it's a blanket, though. So it's got, like, a QR code. I'm not going to show the QR code, potentially, but it's got a QR code that basically is like, how did we do? Let us know. Um, Von Rated, thank you much for the 15 months prime. How's it going? It's going really good. All right, so here we go. So, yes, it is. It's a blanket. Oh, my God. So it's really soft. That's really nice. <laughs> and then on the other side... Again, just in case you're a Twitch partner. <laughs> what is up with this? 
like I'm gonna wake up in the middle of the middle of the night going, oh god, am I a Twitch partner? Yes, I am. I've got the partner blanket, which is a bit silly. But honestly, everybody, all right, say goodbye. We're doing a change. A demotion is happening. Say goodbye to this blanket. This blanket is served me well. Goodbye. Say hello to Twitch blanket. Twitch blanket is being used from now on. So here we go. Oh, I've got so much plastic and everything in the around now, though. This is the problem. But there we go. I probably will have to change it the right orientation. Oh, it's so much more comfortable. Wow, nice. There we go. Honestly, really good gift. That is it, by the way. That is all the gifts. So just as a summary, a partner water, water bottle. We got some pins. We have whatever this is, but I don't know what it is. We have the socks, we have the Connect 4, and we have, honestly, which this is probably the best thing, uh, the partner blanket. So thank you very much to Twitch. And just to let people know, because like this is obviously, I'm, I'm recording this on Twitch live, but I'll put this in a YouTube video for those that are interested. This is, I would say, one of the biggest differences between Twitch and YouTube, is Twitch makes you feel wanted, that you're actually appreciated on the platform that you're working on youtube doesn't care <laughs> like youtube does not care the, obviously the best things i've had from youtube are you can see there that plaque see where the rhino is i've got that plaque i actually have two of them um that is what you get from youtube and that's only when you achieve obviously a hundred thousand subscribers and then a million subscribers and then potentially 10 million subscribers so you know but twitch I've, I've been sent so many things from Twitch over the last couple of years. You do feel appreciated a lot more. So, um, yeah, thank you very much for uh, the, the gift from Twitch. Really nice quality everything, to be honest. And just reminding everybody, all these products are not for sale. So they made these at a loss. That obviously they're getting promotion because I'm saying, hey, thanks, Twitch. But none of none of us paid for this. It was completely free just from Twitch. Um, and, you know, a lot of partners have received this gift. So, yeah. But that is going to be it. If you guys enjoyed this little unboxing to put at the end of the video, please do throw a like on the video. Let me know which thing you'd potentially want the most. Like, is it the bottle? Is it the blanket? Is it the Connect 4? Let me know what you think is the best thing. But that is going to be it. Like, comment, subscribe. See you guys next time. Goodbye. Call down the reckoning to bring back hope and peace. Restore our glory. Regime.